Hey, hi, hello. How's it going? Hope you're fantastic. As someone who has a strong variety of hobbies that often end up on this channel, there is this one very obvious point of overlap that has finally come to fruition. As a lover of Lego, a lover of Kendama, I need a way to turn this brick here into a Kendama. And I have a bunch of criteria that I wanted to meet in the final product that I came up with. So let me show you the process, what went into it, and then the final Lego Kendama that I came up with which I can do a whole bunch of tricks on. Drop a like on this one for me and subscribe for more cool stuff because this was a process and something that I really wanted to do well and I wanted to do right. So I laid out all this criteria for myself, but first of all, this is by no means an original idea. There's been a whole bunch of Lego Kendama tutorials from even long, long times ago. Even the official Lego YouTube channel for some reason has a session of a bunch of guys building and playing with a Kendama. So that was pretty interesting to find. Today on Ridiculous, we're building Lego Kendamas. So we finally got all of our nice Kendamas built. Try it out and keep practicing. Yes. But there are tutorials from a variety of ages of different people. It is a Lego Kendama. Stab a hole through it. Put a two by four piece right there. Bottom first. One, two, three, four, five, six cylinder pieces. So that's the Lego Kendama. And they've all had this idea too, but uh, they've done different techniques and I wanted to do this Kendama in the way that I felt was right. So my first piece of criteria this had to be 100% Lego pieces for me. I wasn't gonna be happy if I went and just got some like fishing line to use as a string. So 100% Lego is what this Lego Kendama is gonna be. That's the first thing. Like for instance, you'll happen to see with a little teaser here, the string I ended up going with is the Lego chain pieces. And that just has such more of a Lego feel to me than tying some string on. And I guess Lego actually does have a bunch of like string elements that I could have used. But uh, the chain just feels so much more Lego to me, and uh, I don't have any of those. The second piece of criteria, this thing has to be playable. There's no sense building a Lego Kendama if all it can do is sit and look pretty on a shelf. So I had to make sure that I'd be able to make this durable enough and playable enough that I could do some tricks on it. And I will show you that I definitely met this criteria. And the last thing, while well, being playable and durable, it also has to look like a Kendama and be, you know, about the same size and general shape. I need it to capture this essence and let me tell you how I did that. So as I quickly run through a bit of the process that I went through to build this, I'll show you some like kind of process progress photos that uh, I took as I was conceptualizing what I wanted to do. You'll see one of the things I thought like, oh, I could use Lego tires as the cups and you know, they'd give that roundedness that you want from a Kendama. And then I had these big, long, orange, smooth pieces that I figured could be the handle. And I would like MacGyver together this Kendama out of Lego that uses these abstract Lego pieces and even the ball I was thinking of using these big half dome Lego pieces that probably only came in like one set But this didn't feel right on the path of you know I want this to look like Lego still I want someone to see it and say oh That's a cool like Lego build with the Lego polished feel this would have just been like a janky plastic Yes, Lego. Yes, Kendama, but it didn't look right to me and I'm sure by the pictures you can kind of understand that so I kind of diverted and I tried to think of the ways that I could do it with more brick like stuff. And I started thinking about maybe using like the slopey pieces to kind of make the cups out of, you know, more brick looking uh, pieces, which would be able to catch whatever ball I ended up coming up with to be the Lego Tama. And I, I could have went that way, but again, the feel felt too much like I was really trying to force the Lego to be something that it wasn't. And it didn't have the right balance between looking like Lego while functioning like a Kendama. So you'll see in the final product, I kind of strayed away from the curved edges pretty much fully. I mean, it's in the thumbnail. I got to start bringing it in to explain some of this stuff to you. The next thing I wanted to tackle was the string, which in this case is chain. And the problem is that when you're playing Kendama, the string gets yanked on a lot and these chain pieces would just break apart. So something I kind of put together using a 100% official Lego elastic piece is kind of this idea where the string would attach at a point where the elastic could give it some give. So when the tom is like getting pulled around, you're not having so much stress yoink on the chain. It's stretching that elastic piece. And that was kind of my solution to, you know, using all Lego, using this rigid chain piece, but still being able to have this in a way where yanking on it is not going to be a problem. 
Another thing I had to figure out how to tackle was going with this brick built Ken. How is it going to be a durable enough build to actually stay together when playing it? So you'll see from some of the progress photos from right at the spike tip all the way down to the base cup, there is a Lego Technic rod, which is just a strong, long piece of plastic that runs all the way through the body. So while you might think, oh, this is just Lego bricks, you could just snap this right here. There's actually a Lego rod running all the way through that keeps this very strong and sturdy and allows me to play it without worrying that all the bricks are gonna like crumble in my hands. The last thing you might see in some of these progress photos is that while this looks very polished now with the classic wood-like color for the Kendama, I did try a whole bunch of different things to make it look Lego-y, like making it multicolored and putting some, you know, different colored pieces in and around the Ken. But I ended up going with this like super polished final product. But yes, yeah, so I'm basically at the point already where I'm showing off the final product. You'll see the first thing, it definitely maintains that super blocky, almost Minecraft like Lego look while of course looking like a Kendama and I was able to maintain a ton of the important Kendama stuff pretty much all of it that I could think to include that being the string connection points on the inside of the Ken and then the top middle of the Tama. I was able to integrate some tracking with a Tama stripe and then you know the bevel pieces looking different than the bottom of the Tama there. Same as the top has some tracking has a durable spike that even, you know, comes to a tip. Even this, you'll see it in some of the tricks, but I tried to make sure that all the stall points that are possible on a Kendama will also be possible on this so that it has as much potential to be a Kendama while still being really just this Lego model build. So yeah, obviously I'm super happy with the way that this has turned out. Even if I do a quick little size comparison, it just looks exactly how I want it to. But looks is only half the fun. I think it's about time to test this thing out and see if we can hit some Kendama tricks on the Lego Kendama. And this even pushes the boundaries because there are tricks that I can do on this Kendama that I can't even do on a regular Kendama. So this is the perfect thing to push the limits, test my skills, and uh, really see what's possible. Lego, Kendama, crossover, let's try some tricks. Alright, obviously the cups and stuff, especially the base cup, is a little bit trickier than a regular Kendama, but there are definitely some tricks on this thing that are possible. It can push the limits of, you know, what you can do on a regular Kendama, and it's just fun to mess around with, and it looks cool. I'm super satisfied. Thanks for checking out the Lego Kendama, and uh, maybe we'll see it again sometime in the future. Also, that... That was the only time that ever happened.